flower's gonna grow from. What's that? Oh, God! No! <laughs> Sorry. Hi! Here we are on the patio. Living the dream. Living the dream. Living la vida loca. It's <laughs> Woo! In the world. Is that Ricky Martin? Yeah. Nice. Yes, it is. Nice. <laughs> Woo! All right. It is Saturday. We are just chilling, planting flowers, getting the bulbs ready, and I'm gonna go for my run. And today we're gonna talk about sunglasses. Ooh. That's right. Affordable mm. running sunglasses. I'll, I'll tell you the whole story behind my. Uh, situation Gooder. with running sunglasses and what's going down Smith mm -hmm. Gooder Walmart <laughs> oh, all that good back. stuff all that good stuff so mine are from here's my tip Dollar Tree obviously I'm not running but Dollar Tree for the non running moments a dollar because the kids just they break them or they drop or I misplace them so one dollar so welcome to Saturday at the Demores Saturday right. fun day right Seth <laughs> Okay, I might not have been in focus that whole time. I don't know what is more painful, running fast and hard and uphill, or the maintenance in between running hard and fast and uphill. It's like this massaging, massaging business is a little painful at times. I'm just working out a few niggles, a few aches and pains that, uh, you know, are bound to pop up. Nothing major, just like monitoring little aches and pains that, uh, you know, are present. They're just present, just being, being transparent with all of you. Okay. <sighs> By the way, racing tomorrow, so that's exciting. First race of 2019, a uh, 5K, three miles, three miles. Gonna be crazy, gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fast, it's just gonna be fast, so. <sighs> We're making uh, race day decisions together, aren't we, Michael? We're just making race day decisions. What do you think about this guy? Huh? <laughs> you wanna see the camera. All right, just, you know, considering my options, most likely going with the Reeboks, but uh, Saucony is in the running. Who knows, I might even just play it safe with a Nike. I don't know yet. Uh, just paying attention. It's not a peak race, but I do wanna go fast. And Michael wants to see the camera. And we're back in the studio. Tomorrow is race day, so I'm gonna keep tonight simple. Basically, I gotta get inside. It's already seven o'clock. I gotta get inside, edit real quick, and go to bed so I can get a good night's sleep before the race. Uh, Keyword, sunny, that's right, because we're talking about sunglasses tonight. And I know this is a very specific topic, but somebody did ask, uh, I think they emailed me, but they were asking like, am I gonna make a summer running gear vlog this is not that vlog and thankfully as runners i feel like going from winter to summer our gear should get more simple like it, it, it's simplified because we don't need as much outerwear anyway that's just my opinion but i do want to just briefly touch upon sunglasses i cannot believe and actually why not let's do it question of the day do you wear sunglasses when you run? I know I've never asked this before, and if you're in high school, I'd be surprised if you do. If you're my age or older, I bet you do. I don't know, I feel like maybe as we get older, our eyes get a little more sensitive to the sun. I never wore sunglasses in high school, in college. I'm think, I think there might have been one guy on the CU cross country team that wore sunglasses. Like, and, and one guy wore a hat and ever, nope, we didn't wear hats. We didn't wear sunglasses. We just kept it real simple. So anyway, uh, but 
once I started getting into the ultra running scene, I realized, wow, if I'm going to be out in the mountains or out in the sun for two, three, four, five, six hours at a time, I got to like, I got to have sunglasses. And actually, I am well known for having like bloodshot, bloodshot eyes. Um, I get it from my dad. I think it's in our genetics. Basically, when I'm out in the sun a lot and I don't have sunglasses, my eyes start to turn red. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, sunny is the keyword. And here we go. Smith Chroma Pop. You all know how much I loved those sunglasses. They're no longer in the, uh, the collection of sunglasses for me because basically, I think it was December, they fell off my head. I, I, I had them on my head instead of on my eyes and they fell off and I didn't know it, so I lost them. And guess what? They cost... $250. That is way too much money for Smith, for any sunglasses. Um, but I'm realizing for even Smith sunglasses, it's just way too much. And these sunglasses are the same ones that are in on the t-shirts that uh, were made by Jeff. Shout out to Jeff again. Thank you for those t-shirts. Oh my gosh! From Jeff in Arizona. What? It gets better. No! Oh! <laughs> oh! So, Someday will I re-ante ante up again and buy new Smith sunglasses? I probably will because I like how much they cover my face and I like the fact that there's no rim on the bottom so it doesn't inhibit my sight for rocks out on the trails. That's why I really like those Smith Chroma Pop sunglasses and if you are if you want to drop $250, they are, they are down below from Amazon. But right now, I would rather put that money toward shoes, right? Shoes to review for all of you so I'm not quite willing to purchase brand new Smith sunglasses at this time for $250 that's just a little insane in my opinion and they are not scratch resistant when they fell off my head they were they were about 18 months old but they were starting to get fairly scratched up okay moving on <clears throat> gooder sunglasses versus Walmart sunglasses it broke my heart, YouTube family. It broke my heart. I went to a running shoe store maybe a month ago and I bought a pair of running shoes and the manager of the store said, last year they made more money off of Gooder sunglasses over all of the Solomon shoes that they sold in an entire calendar year. You know how much I like Solomon for the trails especially and it just broke my heart that that, that more people are buying Gooder sunglasses than Solomon running shoes. Anyway, I thought that was fascinating on the economic side of running stores and running gear out there. So I decided, okay, these guys were I think $30. Gooder sunglasses usually start at $25 and go up to $35. Not bad, right? But it's still a little bit of money. It's still a little bit of money. And don't do this. All you parents out there, you know this. Michael, our little son, yeah. one year old, he was losing it one time. Yeah. I think at an event. And the only thing I could think of to entertain him was to give him my sunglasses. Well, sure enough, he was playing with them and he scratched them up. So even though these are a little nicer on the sunglasses scale, they still got scratched up by a one year old. So. Therefore, I decided you probably saw me maybe about a week ago make the transition to these guys. That's right. These are from Walmart for how much? How much? $14. That's right. $14 from Walmart. If I can save $10, $15 on sunglasses that I know for a fact, they will be scratched in three months, five months, six months. I'm like, okay. I can spend $14 on sunglasses to pre and they're polarized. They're polarized. So that's pretty amazing. Now listen, they are not Walmart brand sunglasses. I get it. I'll tell you the company, Foster Grant, Foster Grant at Walmart. I love them. $14 for me at Walmart. That's a pretty good deal. And here on this vlog, if you're new, I'm always trying to pitch deals. Help, help all of you save money because listen, running it's like, we're, <laughs> I say it all the time, we're not hockey players, we're not golfers, we're not cyclists. Our sport is fairly affordable, but, so let's keep it affordable. You know what I mean? Let's make it as affordable as possible so we don't have to go spend an arm and a leg on the basic essentials of running gear. And listen, sunglasses, they're not absolutely critical, but when you're out there for, again, two hours, three hours, four hours, I think it does make a difference 
for dealing with the sunny sun sun. And that is the key word again, sunny. I already asked the question of the day. I hope that helps. Listen, nothing against Gooder, but you can find better deals at Walmart. All right, I'm not afraid to help you find a good deal. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Ripping a 5K tomorrow, 9 a.m. at uh, Wash Park. 9 a.m. Wash Park, Denver, Colorado. It's gonna be fun. Let's see how we can rock and roll. All right, see you tomorrow.